Hey guys, Jonas here and today in this video of Excess Heroes, I'm here to present you guys a guide on how to clear Season 3 Hero Growth Guide missions. There seems to be a total of 19 missions which you can clear to get a lot of amazing rewards including 2000 sets as well and on top of that one you will be getting a free Silver Fate Crow Hero Unit known as Cafe Dish Chatter Starry who is going to be a really great help for you guys in clearing the story contents. So let's see how can we clear all these 19 missions one by one. The first mission is going to be complete prologue episode. So 12. So how do we do that? For those players who have already progressed a lot in the story contents, it might be a little bit confusing to trace your backs uh, into the contents that you have already cleared, right? So for that one, either go into the lobby screen or let's say into the world map and then just click on this icon right over here on the left of the screen, all right? Just click on this bubble icon and this will allow you to go into the chapters uh, selection and you can actually go way, way back, all right? onto the prologue okay which is even before the chapter one yeah and this is the prologue guys and then just click on the episode 12 right over here and then you can actually retry this battle in order to get your mission done but do you really have to fight with these enemies again and my answer is not really okay you can just click on the skip battle right over here uh, just to see the cutscenes okay you will you all all you need to do is to just look the cutscenes and that's gonna be it you really don't have to fight with the opponents yet again and save a lot of your time all right so that's gonna be it right now i'm using blue stacks emulator let's see how good it is actually going to work with this game right now when i'm actually doing the normal stuffs okay seems like there's a little bit of lag issues i'm actually waiting come on <laughs> i'm waiting so when you actually uh, complete this one uh, you can actually go back to the growth guide and you will see that the mission has been completed and you can actually uh, claim your rewards with which you can get your cafe de chat started we will be uh, directly sent to your managed hero section or let's say to your inventory and you can use it right away so yeah pretty easy isn't it like you are getting the silver fate hero unit right off the bat uh, okay uh, it's just that like Cafe Dish Chat Astari provides a really good buff for all the allies in the North Bond Frosty area only, not for the all the areas, okay? So that's gonna be it. Now let's get back into the Season 3 Hero Growth Guide and this thing right over here will actually lit up and you'll be able to claim the reward which, which is gonna be the Silver Fate Core Cafe Dish Chat Astari right over here, guys. She provides 70% boost in attack, defense and health stat for all the allies when you are doing your battle in North Bond Frosty area this is definitely going to be a really great help when you are trying to clear the chapter 10 as soon as possible all right so that's gonna be and she's a really great single target nuker as well she has a burst damage effect in the second active skill 1050 percent damage this is really good in order to uh, take down the boss units right away yes uh, she's a really good boss killer okay so for beginners she's got to be a really uh, amazing unit out there uh, you can also get the basic pace of experience as well, which actually do not provide a lot of experience. It's just like, for beginners, it's pretty good enough, alright? So that's gonna be it. And if you're asking me, uh, where can I actually see my Silver Fate Code chat, Cafe Dish chat, I started just going to the Man is Heroes, alright? And in the Man is Heroes, you will be able to see her. Uh, in order to just get her right away, you can actually go into the normal and then go into the legendary. Yes, there we go. Uh, confirm because as our Astarte is a legendary hero unit, she will actually no pop up in the legendary list. Uh, she's gotta be somewhere here. Come on, yeah, she's right over here, guys. So this is gonna be our Cafe Dish Chat Astarte. Uh, right now, she's at level one. No equipments are equipped on her. She's not enhanced, and these are the things that we gotta do in order to keep on clearing a lot more uh, missions out there. So let's get back and let's start doing what we can do in order to. Uh, clear all these missions the second mission is complete one cafe this chat started level up so all you need to do is level up all right just click on the shortcut and then go into the man is heroes right over here all right and let's try to find our cafe this chat started yet again okay that's gotta that's gotta be that's gotta take some time oh my god i gotta keep on scrolling oh my god where is it oh yeah she's right over here guys now just level up guys level her up that's all we need uh, let's click on level up and uh, she's of the nature element that means like if we provide her with the experience books of the nature element type guess what guys she is going to uh, get a lot of bonus experience points uh, which is going to be quite helpful in order to uh, save a lot of your 
you know, like those tomes or those experience uh, materials, all right? So she's now level 60. So that's going to be it. And uh, let's get back now, guys, and let's see if it has actually been done. Okay, so there's a red dot, all right? A red dot right over here, guys. That means I can now receive the reward right over here. So that's all we need to do, okay? It is actually giving me a legendary type uh, weapon, all right? Uh, now let's get back into right over here. Equip one equipment. So, uh, well, it seems like even if we equip the equipment to any other hero units, it's actually going to work automatically. <laughs> All right, you really don't have to basically like compulsorily equip the equipment on your cafe death chatter starter. Any other hero units will do fine. That's what it seems. So let's just keep uh, receive the reward. It's not really that hard to actually equip the equipment. And uh, uh, next is going to be polish the equipment. Polish is meaning like uh, to level up your equipment, all right? So if you really want to know it in detail, let's go back. Let's go into the management heroes, right of you guys. And then after that one, uh, let's filter it out. Shit. <laughs> this actually is all, oh my God, what? <laughs> okay, let's, let's try to find her out right of you guys. She's uh, level 60, right? Mm. It's on. Uh, it's, um, it's, uh, she's somewhere here, somewhere here. Okay, yeah, she's right over here, guys, all right? So all you can do is that auto-equip, okay? There's a little bit of quality of life feature right over here. Just click on auto-equip, and this will auto-equip all the uh, best equipments that you have that you can equip on Cafe Desk Chat Started. That's gonna be it. And now then after that one, you can actually click on auto polish in order to polish all the one or you can just click on a certain particular uh, equipment right over here and just click on polish. And then after that one, you can actually provide some good abrasives in order to feed your equipment and make them really good, all right? So that's all you gotta do, man. That's all you gotta do. And that's how you polish the equipment. Uh, either through this polish right over here or through the auto polish, all right? So that's gonna be it, guys. And now let's move back and uh, let's try to claim some more rewards from the Season 3 Hero Growth Guide mission right over here. Receive the reward. Yes, let's do that. Uh, complete one Cafe Dish Chat Starter Enhancement. Uh, is it really hard? Not really, okay? Let's get back. Uh, we gotta really need our Cafe Dish Chat Starter or any other starter that you have, all right? It really does not. Uh, you know, like 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 compulsory requires you guys to actually get a cafe desk chat started as long as you have a starter and you actually start doing those stuff with your starter uh, it's actually going to be working fine okay so right over here guys we have our starter and uh we got a enhancer okay so let's try to enhance her guys right over here uh, let's try to feed her the spirits. Yes, these are what we call the spirits. You can uh, feed her a total of five spirits at a time. Uh, like, you know, like to, to get her to plus five enhancements, all right? So there we go, guys. Uh, let's try to get her to plus five enhancement level. Yeah, there we go. Success, 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 because it's a 100% chance. I got some high quality spirits right over there, guys. All right, so that's got a... a fulfill the uh, mission condition and you can see that the red dot has already lit up okay so there we go that's how you do the enhancement to the uh, cafe des chatter started achieve the cafe des chatter started to level 30 well i've already her at level 60 so i think this is already pre-done all right uh we actually also managed to get a uh, another copy of a starty with which we can actually transcend our cafe des chatter starty in near future okay so let's do that oh wow <laughs> well <laughs> the next mission is is actually demanding us to transcend our cafe des chatter starty uh well i've already got my starty already transcended so that's why it's not uh, uh, like the mission has already been uh automatically accomplished right but i'm actually going to show it to you guys like how it's done all right let's get back because like if you are a beginner things might be a little bit confusing to you but if you guys have already advanced a lot into this game well these are cheesy peasy stuff mean meaning like it like it's too easy to just uh fulfill them all right so that's gonna be it. Oh my god. Where is my cafe des chat started? Holy crap. Okay, she's right over here. Uh, let's try to uh, transcend her. Yes, there we go. We just managed to receive a single copy of uh, Astare. Okay, so let's just pick it up and let's just transcend. Okay, you can transcend a particular hero unit to up to a total of five times at maximum. All right, to plus five. Yeah, uh, uh, any particular hero unit in the game can be transcended uh, up to plus five. Uh, so that's gonna be it and now let's move on to the next mission like what is the next mission all right 
So let's get back. Here's season three, here growth guide. Okay. Uh, the transcendent just completed. Okay. And next is gonna be achieve equipment to level 30. You know, the polish? Yes. Try to polish your equipments right away and you will be able to get them to level 30 right away as well. Just polish your equipments. That's what we did a little while ago, right? So just receive the reward right over there. Next is gonna be forge one equipment. Okay, so what is forging? Forging is the process of increasing the grade of your equipment, all right? So if they are three star grade, trying to get them to the four star grade is called forging. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that, guys. Let's do that. Okay, so where is my study? A study, a study, a study, a study. Come on, a study. Yes, he's right over here, guys. Let's try to force uh, some of my uh, equipment. Okay, let's try to polish them. And this will actually get my equipment to uh, more than uh, 30 levels, all right? And then after that one, now you can click on it and then click on forging, okay? So just right over here, click on the force. Once they at, uh, are at maximum level, you can actually force them in order to get them to the next uh, uh, star grading, all right? So let's click on forging right over here. Uh, provided that you have essential uh, materials in order to force, you'll be simply able to force it to the next level. And that's gonna be it, guys. Too easy, wasn't it? <laughs> That's how you got a force, okay? So now let's get back. Man, it seems like this video is actually gonna be a little bit long. All right, just 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 stay with me. All right, guys, stay with me. Okay, so force the equipment, and you will be able to receive this amazing material known as the magic faded helmet crafting ticket. Wow, that's good. That's good. Uh, faded equipments like this are very much uh, required in order to improve the stats of your hero units real good. Cafe this chat started level 60. That's what we got right away in the first level up, right? So it's uh, automatically done right over there. Uh, next is going to be the complete one. Cafe this chat started blessing. Okay, so how do we do the blessing thing? So what's the blessing? Blessing is the mechanism with which you can upgrade the star rating of your hero unit. All right, yeah. You want to get your five star grade hero unit to six star grade? Yeah, that's what we call blessing. All right, so let's do that. Let's do that, guys. So where's my cafe desk chat study? Come on, come on, come on. Or let's say getting my four star cafe desk chat started to five star grade. That's gotta be the blessing. In order to bless your character, you gotta uh, enhance them to max and level them to max uh, at their current star grading, okay? Right, for example, my cafe desk chat started is at four star grading and her max level that we can actually reach is gonna be level 60 unless she is transcendent, okay? Everyone transcendence provides plus two uh, level ups. But anyways, as long as she's at level 60 at four star grading, then she will be uh, quite eligible for the blessing provided that she has enhanced five times uh, successfully, all right? So now let's do the blessing right over here. Okay, and just let's click on blessing, guys. Provided that you have enough sufficient materials, you'll be able to bless her right away. And I think the, uh, the, the guide mission, or let's say the growth mm, guide, has just that red dot lit up. That means now I'm capable of receiving this amazing material known as a magic faded armor crafting ticket. Wow, that's so good, man. Look at this. These are the equipments that you can actually start equipping on your uh, cafe desk chat study or bathroom if you have it. All right. So there we go. Uh, achieve cafe desk chat study level 75. Okay, so how do we do that? Now, as we have blessed her, now we can actually level her level her up even further okay so let's try to level her up even more and try to get her to level 75 I can't lose. all right let's do it okay so where is she where is she she's right over here guys let's try to level her up oh my god i'm burping Oh, there's too much gas in my stomach. Okay, so there we go. Let's try to get her to the max. Uh-huh. There we go, guys. Too easy, wasn't it? Level 75. Wow. I mean, like, level 76 because I just transcended her. That's why she actually went a little bit more. <laughs> so, anyways, that's going to fulfill our condition. And, well, now we can actually start receiving our sweet, sweet, sweet rewards. Okay, so let's get back right over here, guys. And let's get them right away. Yes, Cafeter Chatter started level 75 accomplished. Next is gonna be achieve equipment level 40. Uh, police your equipment and then reforce them or let's say force them and then try to get them to high star grade and you will be able to get them to level 40 as well. So it's not really that hard guys. It's pretty easy, really, really easy. 
And this is gonna be complete one special forging. Okay, so how do we do that? Now that can be a little bit tricky, guys. Special forging? Well, you gotta max out your weapon before you can actually do the special forging on them. All right, it's a little bit tricky out here, guys. All right, so I'm gonna actually teach you guys how to do the special forging. Well, you can actually pick out any of the uh, equipment of a certain hero unit. Click on a equipment like this right away, guys. All right. Uh, like, yeah, you got to max that one out. Uh, I think that's not a really good uh, example. Uh, you can actually do it with any any other hero unit. You, it, it doesn't really require you guys to actually get uh, Cafetis started to actually equip that equipment and then start doing the uh, special forging. Okay, the special forging will be unlocked when you have got your uh, uh, weapon, weapon to max level. That is level 60. Okay, and it should be either legendary type. That's the you know like this this violet or indigo color type of uh, equipment, or let's say this gold uh, type equipment, which is known as the faded equipment. All right, just click on the special forging after getting them to level 60. All right, that's that's the that's the prerequisite and try to feed it with the equipment of level 60 type okay I'm not gonna do that because those are uh, those are our one equipments I gotta get another type all right let's do it oh, shit sorry about that guys right over here let's just use the Raquel and let's click on this one right here guys and let's click on special forging right over here because I've got a really good legendary equipment which can now be used in the special forging okay so in order to do the special forging you also need uh, another legendary or faded weapon at level 60 all right don't ever use the faded weapon at level 60 because you are going to need it uh to equip on the other hero units but when it's legendary well you can just keep on using that because they come plenty if you just want extra help you can actually always look right over here what are the prerequisites and what are the conditions all right so that's gotta be it let's just click on the special forging without wasting any further time and well that's gonna actually do it okay it provides a little bit of like more Enhancement upgrades to the uh, uh, to the weapon because like now it can actually be uh, polished to further levels. And now uh, let's get back and uh, let's get back to the mission right away, guys. Season three hero growth guide and right away, guys, it's lit. All right, now we can receive this amazing reward, which is uh, five colored fade stone, which you can get in plenty from the holy dragon ground. So no need to worry about that one, guys. And now. Let's talk about complete one weapon awakening. All right, so how the hell do we do that? Well, let's get back. We gotta get a weapon who is at already level 60, okay? The level, uh, the, 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 the weapon should already be at level 60 uh, in order for them to be awakened, all right? So, well, let's start with this one right over here. You can actually, actually go with anyone, guys. Or let's say uh, Deva, 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 come on, yes, there we go. When our equipment is at level 60, then there is actually going to be this uh, this 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 option known as awakened weapon. This awakening weapon is a very amazing mechanic in this game that will provide a huge uh, like stat boost to your weapon, meaning like it will have more attack stats and the success rate is 100% for the first time. So yeah, let's do it. Why not? Yeah, too easy, right? Too easy. Okay, there we go. You can actually do it even one more time if you want. <laughs> Just one uh, one is actually enough. And that's gonna be it. And after awakening your weapon, uh, it will have its, uh, you know, this, 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 this icon a little bit changed, okay? The color will actually change from gold color to somewhat black and white, stuff like that. Anyways, that's it and done. The mission is completed. Now let's get back right over here and let's do it. Receive reward right over there guys. Wow, we actually got the five ore of mana Which is one of the most rarest item in the game especially for the beginners It's gonna be really hard. Okay, because there are only two ways of getting it first uh, Equipment disassemble and the next is gonna be the embodiment of avarice equipment disassemble not just any equipment a faded armor equipment yes you heard me right the faded armor equipment which is itself very hard to get and you gotta disassemble them to just get one ore of mana man that is really hardful isn't it anyways now with the with that five ore of mana it will be able to help us in the next mission that says complete one armor magic enhancement uh, which has actually been a really big pain for so many players out there so how do we do that well for that one let's try to get into a level 60 
uh, equipment like this right over here, guys. All right, you gotta have a level 60 equipment of uh, either a legendary type, uh, beta type, or a rank one type. Any will do, and you can actually click on this magic enhancement right over here, guys. And then let's just do it. Yeah, right away, guys. If you are a little bit like uh, kind of like confused, like can I actually do it on the other type of equipments right over here, guys? For example, uh, even in the Oh shit, sorry. I've got so many really good hero units right over here. Uh, none of them are actually making a really perfect example. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Shit, ah, uh, my account is a mess. Holy crap. Oh, come on! Okay, right over here, guys, okay? So let's try to use this faded equipment right over here. And now let's do the magic enhancement right over here, guys. Alright, let's do it. Magic enhancement, this equipment right over here, that's going to cost me 5 ore of mana. Right over here, it's at level 60, and just click on magic enhancement, just like that. Too easy guys, too easy, not a big problem at all. So that's actually going to provide an attack speed plus 2.8 ed? Wow, that is really awesome! Okay, I would take it. Alright, you can actually go and reroll these stats by spending even more ore of mana, which is uh, which I really do not recommend to you guys, alright? It's, it's BS, and when you actually awaken your hero units, all those ore of mana that were invested into a uh, equipment will actually be refunded back. So no need to worry guys, when I awaken my Garf right over here to rank 1, uh, those uh, ore of mana used in order to like uh, magic enhance his armors will be given back to me. Those will be refunded. Anyways, now it's, ba it's time to get back to the growth mission right over here and let's receive the reward too easy man too easy we got a lot of abrasives right over here guys and now it's time to get our cafe dish chat started to level 90 now that's a little bit tricky as well because we gotta bless our cafe dish chat started yet again uh, in order to get it to six star grade and then finally we will be able to get it to level 90 okay so let's get this started well where is my Cafe Days Chatter Start it's right over here guys, level 76, okay? So let's try to enhance her up because without enhancing her up, we will not be able to uh, bless her, okay? So let's try to bless her with this amazing spirit materials that has 100% chance to get success, okay? So there we go, plus 5 enhanced right away. And that will actually allow me to bless her even further. So let's try to bless her up, guys. Let's try to bless her up right over here. Okay, there we go. And now the tricky part is that, like, it's going to require me the Holy Water of Universe, which is one of the rare material in the game. Anyways, you will be able to get it right away. Don't worry. Uh, let's just bless her right away, guys. Right over here. You'll be able to get a lot of other materials in order to bless her through the Blessing Sanctum in the growth section, all right? So, yeah. That's gonna be it. Wow. Uh, now I, I've got her to uh, six star grading, and now it's time to get her to level 90. All right. So let's go into the level up right over here, and let's start feeding her a lot of experience materials. And now the amount of materials that you are gonna require in order to get her to level 90 is gonna be massive, guys. Okay. You gotta actually use like almost all of your tomes right away <laughs> in order to get her to level 90 it's really expensive man it's really really expensive if you are like lacking like this kind of materials it's gonna be really really painful guys okay okay so there we go oh shit okay whatever that is okay let's do it right over here Okay, there we go and now she's at level 91 and that's gonna fulfill the condition if you're asking me how to get these all kind of experience materials try to do the daily quest and do the uh, experience sanctum in the growth section all right just try to grind over there every freaking day and you will be able to get a lot of those experience materials from there so let's receive the reward uh, Cafe Days Chatter started level 90 and we are able to receive these amazing awards right away, including a Mew. Wow, okay. Complete one Cafe Days Chatter started element enhancement. Now, how do we do that? Well, let's get it on because this is also really tricky, guys. Doing the element enhancement. Element enhancement allows your hero to break multiple guards and stones of the opponents if they are of the same element type. And it's very, very uh, useful, especially in the... Uh, story contents as well as in the Japanese tenure battles really good stuff guys. All right, 
Okay, so there we go. And now it's time to get her the element enhancement, all right? But in order to get her to the element enhancement, it's not actually still showing right over here. So what's actually missing? Well, we got to we gotta enhance her to level uh, five as well. So let's try to uh, successfully enhance her to plus five. Okay, let's do that, guys. Wow, I already have spirit kings, a lot of them. So I really don't think it's gonna be a problem. Okay, so let's get her to plus five. And after getting her to plus five, it should actually unlock. If I'm not wrong, yes. The enhanced element is now unlocked, okay? If you guys are still wondering, when does this enhanced element unlock? There's actually some conditions written right over here, all right? What it says that element enhancement is only available for heroes with level 90. Yes, they need to be at level 90 first. Plus five element, uh, like plus five enhancement. That's what I just did, thanks to the spirit kings that I had. Plus five enhancement levels and Transcend it at least once. Yes, you gotta transcend at least once your hero unit in order to uh, unlock those uh, element enhancement. All right, uh, because uh, the element enhancement can be done the same number of times that you have transcended your hero units. Like, let's say, for example, if my Cavity Shadow Starter has been uh, transcended only one time, that means she can be element enhanced only one time. If she has been transcended five times, that means I can now element enhance her a total of five times, which will allow her to destroy six Guardian Stones in just one shot. That is so good, man, because break mechanics in this game is really OP, <laughs> okay? You would really want to do that. Anyways, let's do it right away. Okay, so there we go. Wow, that is it, guys. That is it. And now you will see that the element enhancement had just vanished because my Cafe Dish Chatter Study was transcended just once. How about if we transcended her twice, okay? Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let's go and let's do it right over here. Transcend right over here, guys. All right, so there we go. Boom! That is it, guys. That is it. All right, and that will unlock this element enhancement yet again, and we, I will be able to do the further element enhancement on my Cavendish Shadow Starter. But anyways, it's not really that important early on in the game. Later on, you will have you will have more advantage with that one because the amount of gold that it's using is huge and you will definitely be needing a lot of gold for so many other contents out there don't try to waste your gold in this content right away as of now later on it will be pretty good uh, when you have a lot of gold in your stash like millions of gold okay so that's gotta be it guys and I think I have actually completed my mission right over here and I think uh, that's gonna be it guys alright so there we go it will allow me to give uh, it will give me three ultimate orbs that is going to be really helpful in order to unleash the potential of a certain hero unit and to get a lot more uh, stats, okay? So that's going to be it, guys. That's going to be it. And the last one, you really don't need to do anything at all. Just complete all these things, the all 18 missions, and you will be able to receive this 19th uh, mission reward right away. So let's receive the reward 2,000 cents right off the bat. Wow, that was really cool, wasn't it? Okay, so let's actually go back right over here and claim all the stuff. Okay, so 2,000 cents was already added to my list. Okay, so that's it. So there we go, guys. That's all you got to do in order to complete the hero uh, growth guide season 3 missions right over here guys too easy man too easy was that really hard I would say not really okay uh, the only bottleneck is that like you might actually have to get a lot of experience materials in order to get your cafe this chat started to level 90 yeah that is gonna be one really big issue all right and uh, when she's at a level uh, like 90 all right let's say or let's say six star grading to enhance her to plus five that might be a little bit of more issue out there as well you can actually uh, start farming for those spirit kings in the spirit sanctum all right try to get them from there and that's gonna be it guys because most of the uh, materials or rewards that are given right over here is gonna be helping you guys with the another next mission like let's say for example this five ore of mana right away which I received actually was used in order to um, magic enhance the armors and to fulfill this another mission right over here all right so that's gonna be it for today guys i hope in this video please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if there were some moments where you actually could not understand what i just said or what i just explained then please let me know in the comments section below i would try to give you guys a little bit more explainable explanation or let's say more detailed explanation on how to do that shit all right so that's gonna be it see you guys in the next video